Hello everyone. In this video, I want to talk about upsampling layers and the transpose convolutional layers. When we use convolutional layer and max pooling, the size of the input image is reduced. So to go back to the original size, we use upsampling and transpose convolution. First off, let's talk about upsampling. Upsampling layers only repeat the rows and columns of the input data by specific size. It worth noting that upsampling doesn't have trainable parameters. It only repeats. For example, we have this 2x2 two two input data and we want to upsample it by 2 on rows and 2 on columns. First, repeat the rows and then repeat the columns. And here is the outcome. Here another example, and here another one. Regarding of transpose convolution, here we can see that we implement convolution and upsampling at the same time. So there are trainable parameters for this layer. Here is an example. First, we define number of filters, filter size and stride. Stride is the key element in transpose convolution. If we set the stride equals one, we won't have any upsampling. We get output size equal to input size. So we have this two by two input and one filter with one by one size. I will set W equals two and B equals zero. Let's apply transpose convolution. Multiply filter by the first element, two times one equals two. For the second element, two times two equals four. But because we have stride equals two by two, we put the result here. And the same thing for the third element and so on. Here, if we set the stride one, this is the result. So transpose convolution with stride one, it means no upsampling. Thank you guys and see you in next video.